60 action treatment for the lower extremity. You start by activating the subclavicular fossa on both sides as started on the other faces 15 times per side. After that you do always the spine as we did it before. Optionally under the sternum you can also do the stomach on a clockwise clockwise treatment direction with the pulsation technique. So you do the stomach in the clockwise direction. Remember always to use the biggest cup size that is possible for the area. After the subclavicular fossa activation, stomach activation, you do activate the groin area. On both sides, around 10-15 pulsations on each side. Then you start going downwards and you can use for the lower extremity treatment all three different modalities pulsation, lift and twist and gliding. Pay special attention towards the medial side of the knee where you have lots of lymphatic knots and it's good to treat the medial side. Go all the way down to the foot, foot sole and use the appropriate cup size for the foot sole you can use lots of pressure and then you start coming back on reverse order. Mostly the gliding technique is left towards the end of the treatment. Regulate the pressure so that it is convenient for the patient. And you start from the distal towards the groin area. On the lower extremity, it's the most important, is the medial side but you can do the whole foot and of course the back foot as well. You end up the treatment as you start it by the activation of the groin. Groin area 10-15 times and then you activate the subclavicular fossa area. On both sides. All the contraindications for massage, physio and lymphatic therapy do apply for the 60 action treatment. If you are uncertain 
for the suitability of the device for your patient, please do seek medical advice prior to the starting of the treatment. Do remember to give lots of water to your patient after the treatment. This is very important. Thank you for watching.